Hi, I'm TJ Seaman. I'm a member of the Pennsylvania Cryptid Research Team. Levon Halina. My name's Kirk Reed. I'm from Washington County, Pennsylvania. Well, you've had some interesting um, information given to you, and I'm not sure if you feel comfortable elaborating even briefly um, from some of the subject matter you and I have spoken about, um, testing and so forth. And Yeah, uh, I paid for a lot of DNA testing. Right. It, it comes back to with the dog man, half human, half unknown canine species. With Sasquatch, it comes back to half human, half unknown primate. Levon Halina? And so I've been hearing stories and reading reports and the things that there's some type of interconnectivity between cryptids and um, the paranormal world, possibly. Yeah, we looked up towards the trucks. I seen the reflectors of the truck. It was clear. No, nothing, you know, interfering with the visual of the reflectors. Mm -hmm. Something went in front of the reflectors and I told TJ, Kirk and Dylan and I said something just walked in front of the truck. TJ was filming and TJ says you gotta come look at this. So we all gathered to go look. There were little like figures just like pixels like three to four little pixels um, shaped like people. Hi, I'm TJ Seaman. We looked up by where we had the cars parked as we were going up so I could go get stuff out of my car and then come back down and, and hang out there for a while. Um, so we, we looked where the cars were and we saw something walk in front of the cars. From how and, far were you from the car when you saw it? Uh, probably about a quarter of a mile. And the car was... Um, LeVon's truck was behind Kirk's Jeep and they were down an embankment like down a forest, um, forest road going okay. down and so, it, it, it went it, um, it came down from the right side across and then down down and dropped off and in huh. and it was weird because right after that we hiked up and went out and it smelled horrible like there was something dead around there hi i'm lavon holiva and I am part of Pennsylvania Cryptid Research Team. We started to walk like the tree line and found some very interesting footprints. Um, these ones only had three toes and they were spread apart and they were about 16 inches. And you and I have discussed, you know, um, some very paranormal, unexplained things that have happened to me as I was, you know, as a child. Um, you know, witnessing angels saving my life, you know, when I was hit by a car. Um, I'm almost, you know, like we spoke earlier, I'm, I'm with in awe. I don't have any words to say that each, each and every time that I step into the woods, something is there. I'm PJ Seaman, later that night, around 10, 11 at night. Um, we start hearing stuff walking around the perimeter of our camp. We, we kept hearing like little noise across the road. Kirk proceeds to tell us this is where he had his encounter with the dog man. It came out from across the road where we were hearing the noises coming from. It, 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 it gets along to be around one o'clock and I'm getting ready to say, well, if nothing happens soon, I'm going to my car and getting a couple hours sleep. I got the word I out of my mouth. Then we heard coyotes go off maybe, I'd say, 100 yards at best away from us. And they were really, really going off. Then we heard one at a time, yep, yep. They were getting taken out until we heard no more coyotes. Something was systematic. So, something took out the coyotes one at a time. I recall you telling me that you're 45 years into this, uh, right? Your research and your field 
I started when I was 18 and I am 65. Two winged things that appeared to be about four, three and a half to four foot tall, kind of looked like gargoyles, sitting on a back road, actually where you and I will be going to film, and literally took off and flew right at me. I would say they were trying to get me to drive the truck off the edge of the road. And needless to say, I was able to get out of there, but I don't know what they were. They were not birds. They had a humanish body, but they had probably a six foot to seven foot wide wingspan.